Hey everybody, it's Andrew. We've got an exciting update for the social planner. We now have the ability to create social media groups. These are going to be groups of different accounts that we have connected on one sub account. So that way we can make posts, we can view posts within specific groups. Let me show you exactly how it works. So in our social planner interface, which we'll find on the sub account level under marketing and social planner, we can see right here, all of our different accounts per usual. If we click this right now, we'll be able to see all of our accounts and at the top, the little plus button to say new group. If we click this, then we can add in a group name. And then what we can do is add in a subset of all of our accounts to this group specifically. So for this one, let's say we just want to have Facebook and Instagram. We don't want to include any of the other accounts that we have connected. Then we can do that and then click create. Now we can view just this group in terms of all the different content that we've got going in our planner, in our statistics, rather than viewing all of them, all we can do is click uncheck for all of our other accounts and then check our group one. Then we can see in our planner, all of our posts just for that group. If we ever want to reset it, we can go to content or statistics and then go back to planner and it'll reset, or we can just simply check back all the different accounts that we have selected. And then we can see everything once more. These groups also come in handy whenever you're creating new posts. So if you click new post, then you'll be able to select the group itself whenever you are selecting your social accounts rather than selecting them individually, which can get very tedious, especially if you have lots of accounts, we can just select our group and bam, we've got Facebook and Instagram ready to post right here. So it's a really cool way to organize our social accounts, especially if we have lots of social media accounts all within the social planner. And of course, if you ever want to modify our groups, you can click the pencil icon right under the group itself, and then you can change the group name add in new accounts and so on. As long as you click save changes, then you will be good to go. This is a really cool addition to the social planner. I'm excited for everyone that has lots of social media accounts connected to the social planner to use this as it's going to help us save a lot of time. If you've got any questions about this, leave a comment. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching.